What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. Mostly talking about Scream 6 as the title and the thumbnail suggests. But we're also going to touch on Freaky Happy Death Day and the Freaky Death Day crossover potential project that many people would love to see mostly happy death day three and that crossover primarily so Catherine newton has chimed in to share her thoughts on a freaky death day crossover which would combine of course the happy death day and freaky universes into a shared world now this comment of hers comes from one take news who asked her about it during the ant-man 3 premiere and Catherine said this this isn't this isn't her saying that this is confirmed or anything this is just what she said she said, I'm waiting on the script. Send me the offer. Let's do it. Now, again, to clarify, she is not saying that there is a script ready for this project. As far as I know, there is no script ready for Freaky Death Day. But Catherine Newton has let it be known that she is down to do the project. One half of that duo between her and Jessica Roth playing Tree and Millie, she's let it be known that she's down to do the project. I know that's a small update, but people love to hear any updates they can about these, this universe. And a Happy Death Day 3, Freaky, and that crossover potential chance that we could always still see down the road so i'd much rather get a happy death day 3 which also had a small update from christopher landon recently landon had a recent interview with screen rant where he gave an update on the project which i wouldn't say is something you should expect anytime soon but his comments about happy death day 3 were simply look i can only say i've had an idea for happy death day 3 for a while it's been pitched to everyone so that's a real thing so it sounds like there's a script ready but because of what happened with the second one, it's not being given the chance that he thinks it has. So hopefully this is something that can get picked up at some point down the road. Uh, similar to how Scream was recently revived. Hopefully we can get that down the road for Happy Death Day. Uh, he also said this about the crossover. The Happy Death Day freak crossover is more just the fantasy of getting to work with Jessica Roth and Catherine together in one film. And I just think tonally they would blend well together. But in terms of what the plot actually looks like, I don't know yet. So there you have that. His thoughts on the Freaky Death Day crossover. There is nothing fleshed out there as much as it seems he has something that he knows he wants to do for Happy Death Day 3, which is a project I think should happen before we get the Freaky Death Day crossover. However, again, if that is what we are ultimately getting before Happy Death Day 3, I'll take anything I can get if we can see Tree Store continued in some fashion. Just to jump into Scream 6. Scream 6 has released 13 new character posters. They arrived early this morning. All of them look very good. Shout out to 3C Films because I got this collage that you see here from your Twitter. But if someone else is responsible for this, then chime in down below. I don't think this is the only exciting bit of marketing we will get from Scream 6 this week because Bloody Disgusting has let it be known that they may have treats for us this week. Now, the keyword there was treats and that it was not singular but plural <laughs> now depending on how you interpret that these 13 new character posters wouldn't be multiple treats but to me how i'm interpreting is that's one of the many that we could get this week i'm expecting a featurette as well maybe we get something tomorrow for valentine's day so we will see what the week brings us i mean there is a post that came out on the super bowl sunday where ghostface was asking you the the official admins were asking you to make your predictions about who you think the killers are who you think the survivors are yada 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 so if you got something simple like that on a sunday i can only imagine that you're going to get something else on valentine's day i would hope so anyway so we'll see what the week brings us also there was a new tv spot that was shown last night at the super bowl but it wasn't the big game ad spot that was re released in an official press release which was a little bizarre to me but whatever i guess at least there was some exposure for the movie even though that was during the pregame, which also really doesn't make sense to me but whatever so this new spot showed kirby aiming a gun during what i can only assume is the finale because kirby is bloodied a bit on her forehead in this in this instance and so far the events of the movie seem to be going down in this order for kirby i don't know the order the order of events down to a t for anyone that's curious i don't know <laughs> so the survivors i'm assuming are going to meet at the precinct kirby will be there she, kirby will then meet dermont who will be an ally for her while she investigates these attacks that she claims she's been investigating and then everyone will go to the shrine and then maybe something can occur to Kirby during the initial visit to the shrine. But chances are this image of her where she's aiming a gun up at somebody we don't see was during the finale. So I've seen this theory also come up that our body count for the film has been revealed due to the 13 character posters, which I think is very interesting for people to think. So 
my thoughts on that. I mean, if you think all th all 13 of those deaths will be from these known characters, that's fine. But <laughs> the 13 deaths will not all come from these characters. It's it's not impossible, but I'm I'm just telling you, it's highly unlikely. I think that the the 13 body count would would make this the highest kill count in the franchise if 13 is indeed the magic number. But we'll see. I want to jump back to Kirby real quick because I've seen people jump on the theory of is Kirby going to be the killer in this movie because of the fact that there was another instance in the TV spot or a previous TV spot where Sam is seen holding a brick and the idea is that she hit Kirby in the head with this brick <laughs> during Kirby's reveal and maybe Kirby's scared look on her face is just because she's scared that Sam is about to beat her ass again with that brick. I'm just saying maybe it is maybe it is the case. Maybe this is Kirby <laughs> having her ass whooped by Sam with a brick and she's holding her gun up at Sam to get her to back off with that brick because of course nobody wants to be bashed over the head with a brick uh there's a chance she's the killer I will say this though the chances of Kirby Reed being the killer are so low to me uh only because again she's she's a returning survivor you know people have wanted to see her back for many years I do not think the proper way to bring her back would be to shatter our hearts when she's unmasked as one of the killers. However, if it were to be done in a fashion in which it is very compelling, if Hayden is firing on all cylinders in this role, in this performance, and if it makes sense, I will praise it. I would still, however, say I do not prefer this. I would have preferred you don't do that. I would prefer to see Kirby in a non-villainous role. Now, if you want to explore that and maybe Scream 7 or even a potential Scream 8 or something else down the road with Kirby, so be it. But the initial return, no. I, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening, but I do like that theory that people were putting together where they're saying, oh, because Sam is holding this brick, she must have beaten Kirby over the head with the brick during her reveal in the finale. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Which of the 13 character posters were your favorite? I've already seen people commenting on how Samara Weaving must not have been there because hers looks the most photoshopped. But I think all the posters all around were pretty fine and well made. I prefer these over five posters, honestly, for the characters. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications at the end of this video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.